we are starting our syllabus with this point of our syllabus that is beta function it is a simply convergent improper integral but it is a very important point so why it is important since it has several applications okay so it has applications in string theory of physics it has a lot of applications in engineering as well as statistic process in statistics also there are many applications you can see as well as average time problems in management also and many more so because of its applications and uh, it is very useful to solve integration so this is very 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 important topic okay so you can make a screenshot of it after that we will start the, with actual definition of beta function this is definition of beta function okay so as you can see beta with two parameters m and n see both of them should be positive real numbers okay so definition of beta is simply an integration but see limits of integrations are 0 to 1 so limits are fixed 0 to 1 okay and its format is also fixed x raised to m minus 1 into 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 dx so this is definition of beta function it's very simple right so the same definition you can write in one more way okay that thing i'm going to write or i will simply write integration 0 to 1 x raised to m 1 minus x raised to n dx is equal to beta of m plus 1 n plus 1 same definition we can write in this way also right so what is the difference here m minus 1 that means if you add 1 we will have number m here here in a power if you add 1 you will have n same thing i have done here here power is m so if you add 1 we will have m plus 1 and in this power if you add 1 we will have n plus 1 so both are definitions of beta function but when we solve problems this method is so much useful to solve uh, value of integration to find a value of integration okay make a screenshot of this uh, definition and after that we will discuss few examples see these two examples we are going to solve here definition of beta function i have already written here so you can easily see and solve the problem okay so let us find the value of this first integral as you can see if you compare that integral this integral with the uh, standard integral you, you can easily see m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 by 2 right so we are going to express it in a form of beta function beta of we need to add 1 here 2 plus 1 3 and here also i will add 1 here 3 by 2 plus 1 that is 5 by 2 so in this way we express the given integral in form of beta function for second integral also we have to do the same getting so yeah the important thing is the power of those uh, variables x and 1 minus x should be positive right so we have that thing here so let us write beta here also i'm going to add 1 in 5 by 2 5 by 2 plus 1 that is 7 by 2 correct and 3 by 4 plus 1 that will be 7 by 4 so in this way we express this integral in a form of beta function so i hope you have understood how to express an integral in the form of beta function using definition of beta function getting so after that i'm going to give some problems for homework make a screenshot of it and after that we will go further so these are today's exercise problem okay so I, we have these two integrals you have to express in the form of beta function you have the definition of beta function simply use it and express it in the form of beta function the last one is this is a one question beta of mn is same as beta of nm what do you think yes or no both of them are equal or both of them cannot be equal okay so see your answer you have to tell me after that with justification getting so sufficient justification uh, should be there so yeah this is these are three exercise problem for you okay we'll stop here thank you bye bye